Good morning, YouTube. It is 9.50 a.m. I am outside of Rethink Thrift, where it is half off everything in the store, as it is every Friday. I will see you in there in about 10 minutes. My time, one second, your time. All right, let's go hop in line with the locals. It's 8.59. but they're only going to be like 250. A Filson hat. That's probably worth at least 30. Thule or Thule, however you say it. <laughs> Uh, is a really good brand. It's going to be 20 being half off, but I can probably get about 80 to 85 plus shipping for that. So I am going to get this. And I found a bunch of clothing. I found an L.L. Bean, LL Bean sweater. It's really nice quality. I don't pick up all L.L. Bean, but it's only five. And I've mentioned this brand Sims before. It's a really good outdoor clothing brand. A nice old Patagonia sweater. A Carhartt button down and a newest tags polo Ralph Lauren. Uh, so, yeah, some pretty good clothes finds, and the majority of it is only gonna be like $2 if it's not marked. This Minecraft board game unfortunately isn't worth anything. It's only $2.50. I'm still gonna get it though. My girlfriend really likes Minecraft, so she might wanna play it. Out of all the games I grabbed, this is the only one I'm gonna get. I can get about $14.99 to $16.99 free ship for it, and it's $2.50. Four dollars into 40. Half off day was a success. I paid $62 for everything. That's insane. I'll get all my money back on this toolie. I got all the clothing you saw. It's probably about a hundred dollars in worth of clothing. This goes for about 40. It looks new inside, like new open box, so I might be able to get 60 for it. The Minecraft game's uh, a gift. I didn't look up the Filson hat. I just got it. It was like 50 cents. Uh, Filson, I know, is an incredible brand. So I figured the hat's got to be at least 25 or 30. A couple pairs is pretty, these are kind of dirty, but they're in good physical condition. These are probably 30 bucks. Two pairs of Chacos, I'll get about 20 to 25 a piece. These L.O. Bean boots are probably worth 25. These Hoka's are really beach, but they're a good model. Um, I've sold beat up hokas like this before for like 25 to 30 plus shipping and they sell really fast because people want an extra beater pair. Red Dead Redemption paid 250 should get 15 free shipping. And then got a little dirt on it from those hokas. Uh, Hitachi VCR should get 30 to 35 for it. Maybe more. I didn't look up the model. I just have good luck with these. And that wraps up this stop. On to Goodwill. Second stop of the day is Goodwill. Some Mizuno Wave Riders for eight. Some Reeboks. How much are they? $9.99? It's not bad. They're just really dirty. This brand right here is a huge bolo. Keep an eye out for them. These are $14.99, which is high, but I should be able to get about $50. Some Crocs, Light Rider, eh, a little too worn. I have never seen this model of Asics, but I mean, they're pretty beat. Yeah, a little too worn. Some Cole Hans in like new condition for $7.99. That's a buy. Head is a really good brand of ski boots. These are $12.99, so those are a buy. Another pair of head. It's kind of an older model. Which are they? Also $12.99. So if you look on the bottom, the 25.5, that's the size actually. So when you list them, put Mondo Point 25.5 or whatever the number on the bottom is. Some 
little kids bogs. A little too warm though. This is a score, a Zojirushi bread maker for $7.99. I looked it up, this model sells consistently for $150 to $200. So I just found this humidifier for $5.99 uh, Stadler form, and it looks like it goes for about $80, bucks. so that's not bad for a humidifier. So, new balances for $9.99, it's a decent model. I don't really want to pay 10 bucks for them though, but I know I can get like 35 to 40. Uh, I'll think about them. A pair of Merrells, they're $15. It's too expensive for that model. See the Boggs logo up here. These are $19.99 though. Yeah, it's too much for that model. Some women's Hoka's for $9.99. Mm, really, really small size and not very good condition. Fake. I can't tell what the exact model number is on it because it's all taped up, but I looked up IPL hair removal device and it looks like the ones that look just like this are selling for about 40 to 50 used. So for $7.99, I'll take a risk. I know this isn't going to be worth much, but I want to show you guys how I scan barcodes. I go to the eBay app, I go to search, I hit that little camera in the side. And this pops up, I hold it over, and well, there's nothing coming up for this exact one, but that's how you scan the barcode and that's how you find out, you know, if stuff uh, is valuable quicker than just typing in, you know, Disney baby. It just, it's faster, saves time. That was a really good stop. I paid $102 for everything. Let me turn you a little. Okay, I got all the shoes you saw. Um, so you get, you know, an average of 30 a piece. Those Cole Hans, I'll probably get 50 for. This is really cool. I saw it as I was leaving. It's like a little Super Mario World, uh, picture frame thing. I'm gonna put this in my office. I just think it's really cool. The best find, the Zojirushi bread maker. It's a really good model. Like I said, should get about 200 for that. I should get 60 for this pair of ski boots. Maybe 70. And then these ones I should get about 80 to 90. You guys saw the laser hair removal and the humidifier. I've never, I don't pick up a lot of humidifiers, but I saw it, it looked different, so I looked it up and I'm glad I did. I should get about 50 to 80 for it, so not bad. Here's a little PSA, always put back your carts. Don't leave them in parking spots. Nike sunglasses. Some very beat up hokas for 15. See some Solomon. Solomon's a good brand, but 20's a little too steep. Maybe I'm half off day. But some Cole Hans. Uh, also 20. I love this store, but they definitely raise their prices on shoes. But on a real note, come on. You guys know I would rock these, right? No, <laughs> kidding. Not my style. Ah, oh, 50 bucks. Man, that's a bummer. I promise usually the prices here are better. Here's some Hoka Bondi 7s for eight. Pretty, pretty rough tread wear. But overall, good physical condition besides that. I might be able to get 35 plus shipping for them, sell them as beaters. Um, obviously, I'd be able to get more if they were in better condition. But like I said earlier, even beat up Hoka's still sell. I'm only getting the Nike sunglasses and the Hoka's. The Hoka's should go for about 30, and the Nike sunglasses actually go for around 40, which I was kind of surprised. I was expecting 25, but 40 bucks. I paid six for them. Uh, so yeah, six into 40, free shipping. I'll take that. Sacks of Bozeman, a nonprofit agency, thrift store. Which is 35. Not sh this old Garmin branded. It's only three for the bag. I, hmm. Let's see oboes for sixteen. It's a little too high. Okay, so I only got the three things. I paid 43 for everything. It was supposed to be 48, but I had a $5 punch card. 
Uh, so 43 for everything. I did pay up. It was slim pickings in there. The fry boots I paid 25 for and I should get around 120. That model sells pretty well. And Lems, I've showed you guys that brand before. Those shoes were in like mint condition, which is why I was willing to pay 20 for them. Usually that's a little too high, but I should be able to get about 50 to 60 for them. And then the Garmin accessory bag, I have to go through it. I'm not sure if it's worth anything or not, but I took a gamble. I know Garmin's a pretty decent brand. We are now going to head to one more thrift store. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you are, please subscribe. Hit that like button if you're feeling generous. Many more videos to come, so you guys are going to want to be here for it. And now back to the video. Oh my god, the dog's head is stuck in a bag of chips. Can you guys see it? I don't know. Oh my god. It's stuck in a bag of chips. Oh yeah, that's so funny. Oh, poor puppers. Last stop of the day. Let's see if we can finish it off strong. Pretty sure Montaigne's a really good brand. I'll have to look it up to double check. Never mind. Hmm, some hokas. They're not in the best condition, but they're not in the worst either. Anu is a really good brand, but 20 is a little too steep for the condition. Another pair of hokas. This is a really good model, Gore-Tex, also 10 bucks. Some Adidas weightlifting shoes, probably worth about 50. Look up massagers. <clears throat> This Kneading Fingers 2000 goes for about 40 plus shipping, and it's 10. This is a Funko Pop. I can't find anything on this specific one. Other similar to it go for like 20, and it's only two. It wouldn't be a typical resale mania video if I didn't find a couple eye clickers. I just found two at the same store last video. A dollar a piece I paid and they go for about 20 a piece very very quickly those the two i had uh in the last video already sold and then i got the wrestling shoes the deadpool figure two pairs of hokas and i paid 40 for everything something around there uh these i'll probably get 35 to 40 for and these i'll probably get closer to 50 and then the massager i'll get 40. and that wraps up the day that wraps up the day, but the video's not over yet, so don't click off right now. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna do it, like add up all the stuff, do a rough estimate of how much I think I'm gonna make, and then I'm gonna do a total breakdown here at the end. We are back at the house now. I am gonna do a breakdown of how much we spent, uh, the fee shipping, and what I expect to make net profit. I got my little helper here, Ferguson. So we spent a total of $279. I added everything up and gross sale should be about $1,435. Uh, with fees and taxes, I estimated 20%, so that's $287, and about $10 in gas. Hi, okay, hi. <laughs> He's being a little needy. Um, so that leaves with an $859 net profit. With about seven hours of work is what I estimate because I was thrifting between 10 and 1, so 3 hours, and then about 4 hours of listing and shipping. That leaves me with $123 per hour for a 7 hour day of work. That is not too bad. Now, I'm going to get some of this stuff processed and actually listed and put those 4 hours in. So until next time. Do you want to go on a walk? You want to go on a walk? Oh, look at that pretty bow. Goodbye. Say bye.